Friday. How are you? <laughs> um, I've missed you. I know I took yet another week off of vlogging, but life has been a little harder than normal. So I needed to take a small break. I didn't get anything really filmed. So I was like, well, I guess I'm just going to take a break. <laughs> so yes, I am happy to be back. I am happy that it is Friday, TGIF. This feels like it has been a very long week um, and I'm really looking forward to this weekend. Yes, I am in my car because yes, I have some errands to run and yes, you are gonna come with me. So I don't, I'm not gonna do a book update right now in the car, <laughs> but I will once I'm home and settled and um, able to film in my house. Um, I am still listening to Supernova and I'm almost done and I like it, but I have the same issue with it I have had with all of the other renegade anarchy books um, and it's that it's just a little repetitive because yes, Nova is doing a double life and yes, all the anarchists and the rebels want more 
choices for themselves and they want better politics put in place. They don't want to be judged simply because of something they did years ago, which I can't blame them for because right now the way it's working with the world is if you were ever a villain or you were ever part of a gang during the civil unrest and all of that, you can't get a job, you can't get housing. The renegades are on the lookout for you and they just release some not so great agent <laughs> medicine that can not make your life easy. So there's lots of repetitiveness and it is interesting to see Nova because Nova, over the course of the first two books, Nova was very much, I'm an anarchist, this is who I am, I'm doing what I'm meant to do. And in this book, you're kind of seeing her change her viewpoint, especially now here towards the end. She's not sure if she was ever meant to be a hero or a villain. And she's finding that she has family in the Renegades and she has family in the Anarchists. And so there's just this tug of, I want to believe in what the Anarchists are doing, but at the same time, I don't believe in what the Anarchists are trying to do. And she doesn't agree with the renegades either so she's in this very strange middle space so it is interesting to see her deal with that and I'm interested to see how it's going to play out because it's coming towards the big epic finale um I've got about four and a half hours left but that's less than half the book and we're coming into the big epic finale and I'm excited to see how it ends but I struggled getting into this one and I still I'm dealing with a lot of, okay, when is this over? <laughs> I feel like there's also a lot in this book that didn't necessarily need to be there, but I still am enjoying it. I am enjoying it because it is different than what I normally read. It's fantasy, but it's also not necessarily what my normal fantasy story. It's superheroes and supervillains and civil unrest and all of that. And so it's nice, it's nice to have that in my arsenal as well. And I also do like Marissa Meyer. I like her writing style, even if it gets repetitive. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, I am going to run some errands. I have a football game this weekend for our XFL team. So it's basically not NFL. It's St. Louis's. Um, they're the Battle Hawks. And so I got season tickets for Justin and I to go to games for his birthday, early birthday present or an anniversary present. I don't, I don't know how he wants to look at it. So me and him and my two besties um, are going to go to the football games whenever they're here in town. But I realized, you know, I don't have any Battle Hawks gear. Like I don't, I don't have any. <laughs> so it's like, what am I supposed to wear on Sunday to the football game? So I'm going to go and try to hunt down some Battle Hawks gear. There's a store in the area, it's called Rally House. And it has a lot of like St. Louis Cardinals. It has Kansas City Chiefs. They should also have Battle Hawks gear. So I'm going to look and see if they have anything. I also need to run and pick up Cadence needs more mouthwash and she needs some extra things and Charlie needs some extra things and some new body wash and stuff like that. So I'm going to go and get all that as well as well. Also, I will be getting stuff for my arm because tomorrow I'm getting another tattoo and I cannot wait to reveal it to you <laughs> because it's book themed. So I'm excited. It's a specific book. It is a specific book. It is a specific book that is very important to my childhood. So I'm very excited. I'm a, I will have to ask my tattoo artist if I can film while she does it so that you can see it as it comes along. So that's exciting, but I have to get the stuff for tattoo aftercare. So I have to go do that. That's also something I have to pick up. So and Justin and I are celebrating eight years married on Tuesday, the 14th, and I've already gotten him something. I've gotten him a, um, <laughs> I'm trying to find other little things to get him because he has been getting deliveries in the mail and he keeps saying, you can't open that. You can't open that. You can't open that. And it's stuff for our anniversary. So I'm like, I feel bad because all I bought you was Of course he doesn't know that yet. And luckily this will go up Friday after our anniversary. <laughs> so he still won't know that. So yes, I have to go try to find some other little things. And he thinks he's super easy to shop for. I think he is impossible to shop for because the things he wants 
are like tools and all of this stuff. And I'm like, I, I don't want to buy you tools because I don't know what you need. I don't necessarily know what you like. And he's not a big reader, like he reads, but he likes autobiographies or biographies or nonfiction, you know? And so I'm like, I don't, but I don't, it's a hard. Okay. So I'm gonna hit the road. I'm gonna go try to get this done. And then I will be catching up with you guys later. Let's go shopping. So that trip was a little bit of a bust, but I asked, they didn't have any Battle Hawks gear, but I asked and they said they did sign a contract, so they should get stuff soon. So I'm like, mm, fingers crossed, but I figured, um, sure we may not be able to wear like Battle Hawks stuff. Oh, something going on with my hair back here. What is that? But we could at least wear some St. Louis stuff. So, and then I realized I don't even have any St. Louis stuff in my wardrobe. So, but first things first, I grabbed that for Justin for his art anniversary. He likes to use my cups, so here's hoping. So then for me, I grabbed this guy. And then I also grabbed that guy. Cause this I can wear anytime. And then for Justin, I grabbed this shirt. And I grabbed this hoodie. So we at least have stuff that reps St. Louis <laughs> to wear to the game on Sunday. Um, and then I guess while we're there, if they have some stuff we can buy, I'm sure Justin will buy something. So, so that's stop one complete. Check. So now we're going to move on to, I guess, I guess I'm going to go to Target or maybe Walmart. I haven't quite figured out where I'm gonna go yet, but I'm listening to Supernova and I'm almost at three hours. I upped the speed. So I'm doing it 1.65 speed. So maybe I'll finish it today. Wouldn't that be fun? All right, friends, I'll catch up with you later. Um, happy Friday night. It is now like 1030 and I just wrapped up watching Inside Out with some fellow Fox and Wood patrons. It was really fun. I really like that movie. If you've never seen it, um, you probably should look it up. <laughs> it's by Disney Pixar and it's called Inside Out and it talks about emotions and how different emotions control parts of your brain and how it's important to let all of those emotions kind of blend together and that understanding that sometimes the happy moments in life can also be a little sad at times. It's all very important and it's a great little in look into the human emotions and how they play and how they play off each other and how your brain works around it but it's funny and it's, um, it's got a lot of heart. Um, and we were all talking about how it just makes us cry at the end. So um, it's really good. It's very much Disney, Pixar, <laughs> whatever you come to expect. So I am in my bedroom. And as you can see behind me are bookshelves, which I will give you a nice little look at probably tomorrow. Um, my hubby and I put these lovely bookshelves together <laughs> over the weekend. Um, because I'm running out of space in the living room. And so we rearranged our furniture in our bedroom to fit the bookshelves. And the shelf right here, it's all like autobiographies or cla like classic books, kind of. Like I have Anne Frank up here, but then I also have like the illustrated version of Harry Potter. And then this lovely shelf here is all of Justin's Westerns. He's a big fan of Westerns. And he's also a really big fan of like autobiographies and stuff, like I mentioned earlier. And, uh, yeah, so, like, Spare, I was gonna buy it, but he was like, I want it, so he bought it. So, 
Anyway, <laughs> I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a reading update because I finished two books today. I finally finished Supernova. I was listening to it for a really long time and so this evening I just kind of sat with it. I had my headphones on, I listened to it, and I read along because I do have the physical copy. And I really actually ended up really enjoying this book. I was a little nervous because of how uh, repetitive it was and how I was feeling while I was listening to it. But the last half of this book just kept me on the edge of my seat because it really, it took a lot of twists, it took a lot of turns, and the ending itself, the epilogue, it really makes me want another book <laughs> because honestly, I can't really go into crazy detail or I'll give it away, but the epilogue in this book is from somebody else's perspective and you find out who that perspective is and you figure out who this character was through the entire series and it breaks your heart because it's like, that's not fair. So I definitely wish we had another book, but I know that we don't. <laughs> um, but the ending of this book, I, this was book three. It's the final book in the series and it did end really well. And there was lots of revelations. There was lots of things coming to light. Everything came full circle, which is what you want it to do when the story ends. You don't really want any loose ends. And there aren't any with, with the exception of the epilogue and one of the characters in here. There is that loose end is not tied up yet, which was why I want another one. So, but I finished this. I gave it five stars just because at first, yes, I was like, meh, but then as I got further into it and the action really picked up and the story really got going, I definitely was like, wow, okay. Okay, Marissa Meyer, you win, you win. So it was really good. If you haven't read the series, like I've said, you really, sh and you're interested in superheroes and villains and who's the villain and who's the superhero and are there really villains and superheroes or, you know, or what makes a villain and what makes a superhero and all of this kind of stuff. I highly suggest picking up this series. It is very, very good <clears throat> and it is well written. Marissa Myers. The first one is um, Renegades by Marissa Meyer. The next book I finished was Legends and Lattes and this book got five stars. This was exactly what I needed. I have had a really rough couple of weeks and when I say I didn't really want to put my heart and soul into anything I didn't want to put my heart and soul into anything. I didn't want a book that would leave me hanging or make me feel things I didn't want to feel or, you know, I I just needed something cozy. And this is so cozy. Viv and Tandry are just wonderful. All of the characters in this book are just wonderful. And I don't know, it, it's no joke when it says a novel of high fantasy and low stakes. It, and it's fantasy because of, I mean, the characters. There's orcs, there's succubus, there's like all kinds of different, there's gnomes. There's all kinds of different characters and different magical beings in this book. And all it is, is Viv, who's an orc, wanting to open a coffee shop. And she does, she opens a coffee shop in Thune with this little town. No one knows what coffee is. She gets some help from Tandry. She gets some help from Cal. She gets some help from Thimble and they just build it and they make it work. And there's nothing, when you think that there is something ominous looming, it turns out like it's really not, it's really not ominous. What could have taken a turn of high fantasy, high stakes, Travis Baldry did not do that. He took it the calm, cool route. It's what I needed. I loved it. It was so good. I, five stars. I cannot wait for the prequel um, or the sequel. I don't know really what it is, but it's coming out in November and I'm really, really excited because if you need something easy, if you need something light, if you need something that's just going to feel like a warm hug, I highly suggest this book because it is all of those things. And it made me feel a lot better. And when you're not in a great headspace, but you really want to read, but everything you have to read is going to be too heavy. This was a great little pick me up. And so I highly recommend it. It was very, very good. Five stars, five stars. So then I picked up and got through the first chapter of um, Finley Donovan is killing it. I am already in love with this book because it literally opens 
with it's wide it's a widely known fact that most moms are ready to kill someone by 8 30 a.m on any given morning <laughs> i mean it's on the cover too so yes, so far this is funny. I've laughed a couple different times and I'm really looking forward to diving into it. And because if the first page can draw me in, then it's a winner. It's a winner in my book. All right, I think that is all I have for you guys. I will give you a little bit of a bookshelf tour tomorrow probably. And then we'll just kind of go from there because there's some things on here that I wouldn't mind showing you. And then yeah. There's that. So I'm going to wash my face. I'm going to brush my teeth. I may read a little bit. Probably not much because I'm pretty tired. I hope you guys had a really great Friday. And so I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. And then I'm going to go to bed. And I'm going to get out of the spot because my dog sleeps right here. She sleeps on my side of the bed. So I'm going to get off the floor because pretty soon she's probably going to start barking at me to get up out of her space. So I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. guys so I wanted to do a little bookshelf tour with you as you can see um, these are my brand new bookshelves we got them over the weekend and so we put them together over the weekend and so here they are so let's just kind of give you the grand tour um, up here this is something that Justin had made for me um, for anniversary Valentine's Day Christmas I can't remember but um, it's the meaning behind my name and then this guy I had adopted an elephant at our zoo and so the zoo sent me this nice little fluffy guy um I really like elephants so Edge will come to find out and then this guy <laughs> Justin gave me it's one of those like hug me friends that you can find online and so that's this guy. This is shelf number one. I'm not, I don't know how much they have like a theme or <laughs> or anything, but like you got like your romances and your mystical kind of stuff down this way and then more mystical stuff and then some cozy stuff. And then this candle was, um, Justin and I did this on our wedding day. Instead of like lighting a unity candle or doing sand, this is all wax and we just combined the wax and then these were our wedding colors so and then this shelf i picked up this guy from walmart yesterday actually um elephant go figure <laughs> so then this is just kind of random it's more middle grade like this guy's middle grade these are more like hunger game ish a little bit more thriller ish up in here and so and then this was something that charlie had made me years ago um, in 2022 for Valentine's Day. So that goes up here too. And then this is Justin's shelf. It is a bunch of Westerns um, and a couple of other books that like I'm probably not gonna read. And then this is a car that Charlie had gotten him at a, I guess at like an antique store or a shop of some kind. And then this is a Bernie Sanders <laughs> that my friend Jen crocheted. And we have two of them. We have this guy and then we have the other one is on our lamp in the living room. So, and then down here I've just put, I've stored <laughs> some books that I don't quite know what to do with down there. And then, so over here, hey look, more elephants. <laughs> Justin picked this up um, for me from a truck stop on his way home from Kansas City when he was working out in Kansas City for a few weeks. This I found from like at home. It's an elephant on a bunch of books. These are my Marissa Meyer books. These are the Lee Bardugo books, um, six, Shadow and Bone, Six of Crows. And then I bought this guy at Walmart yesterday too. I was like, huh, I can't keep real plants alive. So we'll just do We'll do fake ones. That's fine, right? <laughs> so then these are a lot of like hardback special edition kind of books. So like this one is the one I got for my January fairy loot. This was my January book of the month. This is a book of the month that I got from a friend. Same with this one. And then these two are the books I picked for February's book of the month. Um, so Last Tale of the Flower, Flower Bride, which I'm going to read during the Murder, She Read Readathon. And then 
Wayward by Amelia Hart. So I'm excited to actually read those two. And then, of course, The Atlas Six, which I have not been able to get into yet. Princess Bride, one of my favorite books, one of my favorite movies. And then these are my special editions of the Once Upon a Broken Heart and The Ballad of Never After. And then, of course, a candle because life is not complete without candles. So then down here are all of our, like, classics. This is really the only classic I have down here. Um, and then just some more basic autobiographies, biographies. This one is the Lin-Manuel Miranda book where he, his tweets, um, David Letterman. These are, some of these are just, a lot of these are Justin's because he does the autobiography thing. Um, this one is mine, the Lauren Graham book. Anne Rice is mine, or Anne Frank is mine. Jim Beaver's mine. And then I think that's it. Actually, the rest are his. And then, of course, the Harry Potter Illustrated Edition is mine. This is a picture from years and years and years ago of my aunt, my grandma, and my dad. Um, my grandma passed away in 2003. So um, this was way before then. And then this actually is supposed to light up, but I got to put a new battery in it. Justin got it for me, and it says, we've all got both light and dark inside us. What matters is what we choose to act on. That's who we really are. And so in normal, normal circumstances, it would light up. But like I said, it's out. I need a battery. So then in here are just some other books I didn't quite know what to do with. Ones I've borrowed that I have to give back, that kind of thing. Same with these books I've borrowed that I have to give back once I read them. Um, and these are, <laughs> I like adult coloring books. So you've got my colored pencils. This is more colored pencils. And then all of my different adult coloring books. There's all kinds of fun stuff in here. So, and that is that. And then this is where my book bags will go. I have a bunch of bags for books, but I, and that's where they will all go. So there you have it. That is the bookshelf that we just added to the room. So very excited, very happy. <laughs> all right, catch up with you in a bit.
how's it going? Um, it is Tuesday and I am at the office. I just wrapped up for the day. I'm heading home to meet Charlie at home as they get off school. And I was wrapping up my day with some productivity sprints with um, Alexander Roseland and my fellow Patreons. And so that was nice. I have started listening to the Psalm of the Wild Built or a Psalm of the Wild Built because I had started to read it and it just, I just was not, I was not vibing. <laughs> and so I was like, well, let me see if I can listen to it because it is a um, book club pick for this month. So I was like, let me see if I can listen to it. So I got it from my library and I started listening to it. And I actually really do like listening to it more. And because it is so short, it's super easy to get through. So it's only like a four hour um, audiobook. So there's that. And then I am still working on, sorry, it's hot in my car. Finley Donovan is killing it. This is hysterical. I love this book. It is just all these left and right turns. It's funny. Um, it's just, things keep happening that you don't necessarily expect to happen. It's really, really good. I am almost at the halfway point, And so I'm excited to try to finish it. I will probably be reading it this evening as much as I can. Um, Justin and I are celebrating eight years of marriage today. 3.1415 was our anniversary, Pi Day, if you will. And we're not really doing anything because I work days, he works nights. It's hard to merge that together. So we are actually planning a trip in May to Chicago. So that will kind of be our anniversary trip. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, that's that. I don't really have any other updates for you. Um, I did get my tattoo. I'm not sure. Here, let's do it this way. Uh, hi guys. So there it is. It's kind of bleeding right now. Um, the ink is bleeding because it is, sorry. <laughs> It is, it does have like a bandage over it. So I got that on Saturday. The bandage will actually come off tonight and then I'll be able to like moisturize it and stuff. So if you don't understand it, it's, you know, different Harry Potter stuff. There's a sock to represent Dobby. There's an envelope to represent your Hogwarts letter. There's a snitch because Harry plays Seeker. There's a lightning bolt because of the scar. There's glasses because of Harry. And then the sorting hat is sitting up on top of the Deathly Hollows. When I get tattoos, I try to make sure that they mean something to me and it's not something that down the road I may be going to regret. So this one, it says, let it be. And there's little black birds. It's for my dad because his favorite band is the Beatles. And one of his favorite songs is let it be. Um, and blackbirds, so there's little blackbirds. He got really sick and I almost lost him. And so I decided that I was gonna get this tattoo now rather than later. I was gonna get it while he could still see it and understand it and know what I'm talking about. Um, it's also just a gentle reminder to me <laughs> because I have this tendency with my anxiety to just overanalyze and overthink everything. And so sometimes you do just have to let it be. So yeah, that's what that is. On my foot, I have a green, I'll put a picture of it up here if I can find one, um, one up mushroom from Mario. Because when I was a kid, my mom and I used to play Mario, Super Mario all the time. And so that was like one of the really good memories I had with my mom. Um, my mom is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> but she and my father divorced and then she left town. And so we're not very super close. We never really have been, but that's like the one, one of the big memories I have with her. And so I have that on my foot. And then of course, this one is my newest one. Um, and it's because Harry Potter, the stories of Harry Potter, the books got me through a really dark place when they came out and I was reading them. And so I was really depressed. I was really unhappy. I was in middle school. I was really like internally suffering. And so I started reading these books with my aunt. My aunt would read it and then let me borrow it. One, because I, I needed it. <laughs> and then two, it was an opportunity for her and I to kind of come together on something because I was really hard to get through to when I was an adolescent because of the depression, because of the thoughts that I was having, I was really hard to get through to. And so she would ask me, how was school? And I'd be like, fine. Did you have a good day? Yes. Are you doing anything now? No. Like I didn't want to really communicate with people. And so she bought these books as an opportunity for her and I to have something to talk about 
again because we were really, really close all through my childhood. And then when I hit adolescence and started dealing with some trauma, um, we weren't as close anymore. And then now we're super close <laughs> and she's my little, she's my reading buddy. And so, but it was just something that got me through that time. So Harry Potter, regardless of the twat that is <laughs> JK Rowling, um, will always have a special place in my heart. And this is just a gentle reminder of that and how much it means to me. So, and if you look, the flames, flames on the side of my face are red and gold because I'm a Gryffindor. So there you have it. And then Sunday we went to the Battle Hawks game. It's a XFL football team. It was so much fun. We had such a great time and we won. So that was fun. So yeah, we have season tickets to that. So we have a couple Saturdays and Sundays coming up that will be at football games. But all in all, it was a good weekend. Um, yesterday I didn't really film much because I wasn't feeling great. So like I napped and then Justin and I had a meeting at Charlie's school. Him and I went and got food. And so it wasn't really a busy day and I didn't really get a chance to read or anything. So it was a busy day, but it wasn't a busy day. So anyway, so yes, I am gonna head home now. I'm going to listen to A Song for the Wild Built as I'm on my way home. I'm gonna get home, hopefully hop back on the sprints with my Patreon family, work on Finley Donovan, send some emails as I need to. And then that's that. So tonight, Justin's making dinner. I don't know what he's making. I think he said meatloaf. And I did see a red velvet cake with cream cheese frosting. He may be making a cake. He did also send me flowers at work. So you saw those. So yes, he's sweet. I'm a lucky, lucky girl. So yeah, I will catch up with you guys later. That's all I got. I'll catch up with you later. Bye, 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 bye. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. cleaning it, I decided maybe you guys could use like a little bit of an office tour. So I work from my office Tuesdays and Wednesdays and some Thursdays, just kind of whenever I need to be here. Um, I do intake work for um, psychological assessments. So that's me. Um, so why not give you a little tour? So behind me, you got my little family pictures and then notes. I put notes on there if I need them. Those are my degrees, um, two of them out of the three. And then here you've got, this is Cadence's three-year-old picture. Um, I just really, really love it <laughs> and how it turned out. So it stays. This is um, Yadier Molina. He was a um, St. Louis Cardinal, but this was Blues Night at the Cardinals game. And we got bobbleheads of Molina in St. Louis Blues gear. So why not? He's no longer a Cardinal though. <laughs> Bummer. So this is my Beauty and the Beast rose that Justin got me. Um, it actually lights up, but I could never get the lights to work the way I wanted them to. And so I just kind of wrapped them around the bottom and I don't really turn them on. But this is my little Beauty and the Beast rose. This is a speaker. <laughs> it's an Iron Man speaker. His eyes light up when you turn him on. 
and music plays or whatever. Um, Audrey Hepburn is by far like my favorite old actress. And so I really like the I Believe in Pink. I believe that laughing is the best calorie burner. I believe in kissing, kissing a lot. I believe in being strong when everything seems to be going wrong. I believe that happy girls are the prettiest girls. I believe that tomorrow is another day. And I believe in miracles. So get you a little Audrey Hepburn fix. <laughs> These are just some flowers in a vase that I put in my window when I actually got windows because and when I first started here I was in an office with no windows which was not ideal you know so but yes then we moved and I was able to get an office with windows so then you have my K for Kristen or Kenny whichever one you want to use it for this is my Groot I have not actually figured out how to really work it yet, but apparently if you hook it up to something like your phone, he will dance. So if I get it to work, if I can figure it out, um, maybe I'll show you. <laughs> this is the Bible verse from our wedding that I really, really like. And then this is a picture of Justin and I, my favorite picture of Justin and I at our wedding. So that's the windows. This lamp has stands. This was a gift from a friend of mine when I graduated college and it says owner of this world because where the wild things are, you know, Max, owner of this world. And then Purell, cause you need it. There's a Scentsy warmer down here. This guy right here, it is a air purifier, but I don't use it very often because I don't usually have people in my office. If people are going to be in my office, I will turn it on just to help with germs and all that. But otherwise, I don't turn it on. And then you have my desk, which which you've seen in bits and pieces of videos. So there you have it. Oh, and then there's that. I took that from another office. So there you have it. That is an office tour for you guys. So yeah. Yeah. So you've got like, this is also a speaker. This is what I use to listen to books when I'm at the office. This obviously flowers from yesterday. My water cup is back here cadence, um, my pens and stuff. This cup, this coffee cup was actually a gift to me um, from a friend. So I turned it into a pen holder because I'm saving the world one sip at a time. More Purell. This is a Marvel Scentsy Warmer, which I love. This is my fan for when it gets too hot. It's connected to my computer, which is right here, docks right here. <laughs> then you have my otter mug that currently has coffee in it from the St. Louis um, Aquarium, my Harry Potter calendar, post-it notes, um, my Sanderson Sisters Cup candy, and then my candle. So there you have it, friends. That's my office. So I'm going to get to work now. I just cleaned it, so now I'm going to get to work. So I'll catch up with you later. Bye. Bye the future is bright. I am gonna go ahead and close out the vlog um, so that I have plenty of time to edit it and get it up by tomorrow morning. I don't really have any updates for you. I am about 100 pages away from ending Finley Donovan and it's fantastic. It's really, 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 really good. Finley, Finley Donovan is killing it is really good. And if the other two are anything like it, I'll be reading the whole series. <laughs> um, I have signed up for several buddy reads through my Patreon, so you have those to look forward to as well, including a reread of Akatar. so I'm excited for that. And then this weekend is gonna be a lot of fun, so I really hope that you um, come back next week when I will have participated in a Murder, She Read readathon with Alexandra Roseland and Olivia Reads a Latte. So that'll be really fun. There's lots of fun stuff planned. I'm very, very excited. We also have a Battle Hawks game this, game this weekend. So with an on-field experience, yeah. So please come back next week and check that all out. I hope you guys are having a really great week. I hope everything is exactly the way you want it to be. And I really hope that you're living, you're loving, and you're reading lots of books. Until next time, friends, bye-bye.